I don't know if you can tell, but I just got a new keyboard joystick from a subscriber. They handmade this for me. And something tells me that I think just from this that I kind of like it. So a lot of you guys know of this thing called the GMK joystick. You're going to hear about the differences from this joystick, which is the GMK one. It's kind of a little bright, but my subscriber made me this one. So yes, you're going to hear about the pros and cons. It's the first day that I got my hands on this with all the settings correct and everything. Absolute full 360 movement. And as you can see here, it's still the same amount of strafe angle. This keyboard joystick, it allows me to use my keyboard and mouse while you using this joystick to free up binds so I can have more optimal binds. I have controller movement now, but I still have all the fancy things and the aiming that comes with keyboard. There's absolutely zero aim assist with this, just to be clear. So I actually just recorded a whole bunch of footage in Arena, trying to specifically tell you the story about how I got this joystick and how it got sent to me. I got mopped up probably like eight times. This video is going to be twofold. What I'm going to do is show you how bad I am on this joystick that I just got, and I'm going to jump right into the story about how this got sent to me, how they reached out to me. So for the sake of disclosure, this person named Bob, he's an engineer, very good at designing things. Bob saw my video about my six month progression on the GMK joystick. That's the original joystick that I started using before he sent me this one. And definitely even just by looking at this thing, there's a bunch of negatives that come with it. I'm not here to talk trash about GMK. I would never do that. First off, I actually really do like the GMK joystick and I'm happy I switched to it in the first place because it taught me a lot about movement, my keybinds, and how to just get better and more optimal. So nevertheless, like I said, Bob was an engineer. So Bob also plays Fortnite and he, since he's an engineer, he he thought that he can make one that would better suit what he likes. Nevertheless, that's exactly what happened. And in the process, like I said, Bob saw my video about the joystick that I made. And in that video, I listed a bunch of things that I didn't like about the joystick and why I thought it was hard for me to play with it. Nevertheless, he reached out to me via email and just said, hey, I'm one of your subscribers. I really like your channel. I really like your videos. And I saw that you had a bunch of problems with the GMK joystick. So we got to talking for a couple hours and I got to know Bob a little in the process. The things he was saying about programming a joystick, getting it 3D printed in the perfect orientation so that it's more snug on the keyboard. It was pretty amazing to listen to and see how much detail went into making one of these things. Without giving away what Bob actually does for a living, he had multiple businesses before and he knows how to create products, how to sell products. So it was interesting to see how he designed something for himself and planned on not losing any money in the process. Because Bob told me that he's not looking to sell this thing mass market because he literally just doesn't have the time for that. Bob's a very busy man. He's on meetings all the time. It's hard to get in touch with him. Nevertheless, long story short, Bob doesn't need this income and this stress that comes along with actually selling this thing to the people. It was kind of just a thing for him and his buddy. So he ended up sending me the whole thing. I still have the box right here. He said, Ken, it's going to take a couple days to get there. All I'm saying is you might like it. You should try it out. And if you want it, you can keep it. I'll pay for all the shipping and everything. He genuinely wanted to help me out because he saw the problems I had in the video that I talked about, about how when I'm playing and it just slides off my keyboard randomly, kind of the clunkiness of it. Also, Bob really thought that he had a better design than the normal G. GMK. So I'm going to switch to arena real quick, but essentially this is what happened. I just got out of a discord call about like an hour and a half long with Bob, the man himself. I told him that I was going to make a YouTube video about it, give my honest opinion, whether or not I think I'm going to fully switch to it. And I'm just going to mention the pros and cons in the process. So you're going to see me try to win this arena game and test it out for Bob. So you can see that I actually gave it a chance. Unlucky for me, I'm pretty sure Peter bot FNCS grand finalist winner is in my game. So I'm not exactly sure if I can win this. Probably right now is timestamps going to come up on screen of a very quick recap of whether or not I'm gonna full switch. I just don't know quite yet at the time of making this video. Oh, what? My loot just got snaked. Oh, it's really over for me. Oh my God, that was such a finesse. Oh my God. I'm telling you one thing. I definitely do not have this movement down. If you're kind of confused, you may have no idea, honestly, especially if you never had a GMK joystick before. How it works pretty much is that on the original GMK joystick, the one that I was maining for a couple months and I made videos about for my progressions and stuff, the analog stick on that joystick is diagonal. So if you want to go true straight, just like this, it's not going straight. You have to go at a diagonal right in order to go straight in the game. Wow, my.
my mechs are so bad. But on this design that Bob made, if I want to go straight, I put my analog stick directly straight. So it's a little bit more intuitive. Also, it's less clunky on your desk. It's more comfortable and it doesn't slide because of this little thing that Bob added so I can rest my wrist pad on it. So as long as I have the weight of my wrist on this little device, it will never jerk out of position on me. Pretty much if you watch my progression video, the main problems that I had. Hypothetically, it's all solved with this new version that Bob sent to me all for free too. Shout out to Bob, even though his real name's not even Bob. I'm just calling him that for the sake of the video. Oh, we got a solid crack. Side jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hell no. Purple pump and another pad. The Chica pickaxe with this skin is so dang clean. It's really good that I get to keep all my keybinds. The only thing I've changed is the ping but it's essentially like the same thing. What I do now to ping on this thing is I push in on the joy. Oh, what the heck? There's a guy in a bush here. Oh yeah, we got him now. Nice. There's another guy here, though. We are healthy. Nice. <gasps> I died to a bush camper, bro. <laughs> to be honest, that game was too good not to include. But for the sake of the video, I had to get a win in Arena. So this is what you're watching right now for the next two minutes. My honest opinion about it, there was times throughout the three hour session that I was playing where I absolutely hated what I was doing because trying to rigorously put myself through a test to try and win a game on a new device is always difficult no matter what it is. Part of me feels like I want to make the switch and then the other part makes me feel like I don't want to do it at all. One thing that's scary though is that I noticed throughout my time playing in these Arena games was that I was doing really bot stuff and just having bot movement. And learning the aspect of movement again in Fortnite, I'm not sure if I really want to put myself through that mental torture. I'm sure anyone could attest if you switched inputs before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to try my best to test it out maybe a little longer, especially right now it's the off season. I think if I'm ever going to give it a genuine chance and if you guys are ever changing something during the off season, now is the time. One thing I have to mention, this is the first time that a subscriber ever sent me anything. It's definitely dope to see how wide of an audience YouTube can actually connect you to. Also, throughout this entire time I've been playing on this joystick, the question that still remains in my head is how far exactly do you want to go out of your way to learn the most optimal binds in the game? Is it worth it to try and switch up every single thing you've ever learned about on Fortnite to try and get good? Or should you just stick with what you got and learn it to the best of your ability and try and take that to a pro level? Because there's so many pros on the game right now who have terrible binds, but they're obviously crazy at the game. So to an extent, I know and I'm sure you know that you don't need the best binds or the best devices in the game to be successful. I think for the most part, it's going to come down to how you practice. So I'm going to try and take my time and not fully commit to transferring over to this new version of a joystick because I feel like after I got off, I really felt like I had a good grasp on it. But then I'm sure the second day, which is right now, which I'm filming, if I get on and try and play again, probably going to run into a lot of frustration. And for a player like me, I got to remind myself that I'm doing pretty well in fights at the moment. Jivan and I made finals not too long ago. And even right now on the old version of the GMK joystick, what I've made my videos on in the past with, I'm the most confident I think I've ever been. Let me know if you guys are curious to see more about this. Keep in mind, new season starting up so there's gonna be a lot more tips and tricks coming your way end of the season content i've been trying out new things i've definitely learned a lot don't forget maybe plugging someone's code when you buy the battle pass maybe code can beans if you want to be a g thanks to the people who are watching this like the video if you like the video and i'll see you later peace